We begin with breaking news about the health of Pope Francis. The Vatican says the pontiff is in a hospital in Rome because of respiratory infection. This is a live picture of that hospital. It's just about 11 p.m. there now. CBS 2's Doug Williams is in the newsroom with more on the pope's condition. Doug. Dick and Christine, the Vatican says 86-year-old Pope Francis will be hospitalized for several days, raising new concerns tonight about his health. Earlier today, Pope Francis held his weekly general audience in St. Peter's Square. The Vatican released a statement shortly thereafter saying the Pope had complained of respiratory difficulty in recent days. He went to the hospital this afternoon for medical tests. The Vatican says the Pope does not have COVID-19, but he will remain hospitalized for further testing and treatment. There's no word on whether whether this will impact the Pope's ability to celebrate Holy Week events beginning this weekend with Palm Sunday. The Vatican also said the Pope is touched by the many messages that he's received and expresses his gratitude. Here in the newsroom, Doug Williams, CBS 2 News. All right, Doug, thank you for that update. And Pope Francis has had a history of medical issues. He had part of a lung removed when he was a young man due to a respiratory infection. Also, the Pope has said he resisted having surgery two years ago for knee problems because he didn't respond well to general anesthesia. We have more on the Pope's hospitalization and also his medical history on our website, cbsnewyork.com.